All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet a, 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 a video. And today, I mean, y'all can kind of see the stack in the back. We got a huge haul that I've been talking about. Now, this is gonna be a mixture of my pickups from LA, NY, and just. Some of the stuff that I just had back at the crib. Some of this stuff is going to be some good cozy gear for back to school. And some of the other stuff is just some dope shit that I picked up while I was traveling. And as always, I will try to link as much stuff that I can find as possible down below. If I copped it from a certain shop or a certain IG page, if they got something, I will leave that link down below as well. It just makes it easier if you want to find something so that you can find it. But you already know how we do, man. It's a lot more stuff than I thought it was going to be. So let me just grab the stack, show y'all really what's going on, and then we can get into it. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not fucking work. So first up out of the stack, I'm gonna start with these shoes right here because these are pretty much well known at this point. And that is the Adidas Ultra Boost. Now I got two new pairs, the Parley and Ultra Boost joints, and then the regular 4.0 all white and black. Although I still think the 1.0 is the best. I actually got these while I was doing the shoot at Dick's Sporting Goods, so shouts out to them. And uh, yeah, there is one more of those on the way, and this is actually from that video. So yeah, it's just a little sneak peek. It's a good, cozy running shoe, and then also, if you want to get some new UBs, it's also a good back-to-school shoe. Just wasn't on my list because it was my list last year. But yeah, 180 Ultra Boost, two pairs, all white parlays. Yes, that's out the way. And it probably hit the fuck out of my mic. Now, up next, I got three new pickups from Sue. We actually went to the store when I was out in New York. Shouts out to the homie Luke that actually helped me out while I was shopping. And I got three pairs of jeans. Now, these are not cheap jeans in any means, but they will last you. So, if you want a better jean and you want to spend more, like $200 more, then Subies, yes. But for regular, regular, if you just want some decent jeans, I feel like PacSun has a pretty decent selection of jeans, especially online. So if you want some good jeans or some decent jeans, PacSun is there as well. I don't really fuck with H&M jeans. I have a couple pair of H&M pants that are left. But yeah, I just don't really shop in H&M anymore. But PacSun, they got some decent stuff. Now, back to the Subies. So I got three pairs and these are all the chitch. So the description on these is long rise and taper. So on the front, this area right here in the crotch area, it's a little bit longer, give me a little bit more room. And and then it is a tapered leg, but not super skinny. So I just got this blue wash. You guys see all over blue, just a nice pair of blue jeans. Good contrasting stitching, got the Subi Plus signs on the back and then the two down here on the leg and white. And I actually just recently wore these. So I actually got these in a size 38. I usually wear a 36, but with Subi, it's an Australian based brand. So the stuff seems to me to fit a little bit small. That's why I like the chitch over like some of my Van Winkle jeans, just because they're a little bit less of a skinny fit versus more of a tapered leg fit. These ones are just all over black and kind of washed out. They're just black washed out once again Sui plus is on the back and then you have the white plus signs down here and then last up I also picked up a gray pair so three pairs of jeans blue black like a washed out black and then I also got this gray pair all size 38 all in the chitch denim so gray black blue good jean pickups just like i said if you want some good jeans and you're willing to spend that shit spend a little money on them subi is a very good option now up next i actually got two new pickups from billionaire boys club i picked these other ones up when i was in nyc now the third one i couldn't find it but it was just a regular arch logo trucker in black and white now that one is sold out on the site i'm pretty sure you may be able to find it somewhere else on different sites but it was just the og logo black and white trucker now these two i actually got really lucky to get this shirt but this hoodie right here i actually wore my astro world review and it's just part of their highlighter collection it's all over a really bright orange and then you have the yellow bbc logos on the front and these are actually available online they call it a flagship exclusive meaning you can only get it online or at the nyc store and there's some really really dope colorways my favorite was this orange and yellow one so i grabbed that and then also i picked this up of course this is the nerd merch the gildan boys strike again this is on a gildan t but i got for retail at 50 at bbc and i guess i just don't feel as gypped as much on this gildan one right here but i'm pretty sure this is a cactus plant flea market design that's exactly what i thought when i seen it i'm pretty sure it is esp lemon live at the rally on the back you got no one ever really dies around on the sleeves and then you have all of the tour dates on the back a lot of this stuff was overseas but mine is right here 616 shag fest virginia beach 
I actually got to Shack Fest late because I was working on a video for you guys and I wasn't able to cop a tea. I was ready to spend 150. I walked in the BBC and lo and behold, they had one size left. I did have to get a size large, but it is gilding, so it does fit a little bit bigger. And if I need to stretch it, I can. So, yes, cop the NERD merch right here, as well as this highlighter hoodie and that trucker hat that is somewhere in the studio. Just can't find it right now. And I forgot to mention this hat as well. So I actually have four pickups. This is a human made and cactus plant flea market collab hat. I think I got the last one in the store and it's just all over pink satin. It says dry alls on the top for human made. And this was just, like I said, a collab piece that they had. This is the only color that was left. And after I bought this hat, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go on cactus plant flea market site and buy the rest of the hats or a couple more that I liked. And they no longer are on sale. So these retail at 80 bucks. Really nice hat, really nice fitting hat. Hat, and a lot of you guys were saying it was a dope hat on my last video so if you're wondering where I got that from blam cactus plant flea market human made collab hat I seen a few on grill if you're looking for it just know it's gonna be over a hundred because they have sold out they are gone now and uh, there's nowhere else you can really get them now while I was in Soho I also hit the babe store I don't buy a lot of babe I'm really really picky in particular with what babe pickups I do get just because it's expensive and a lot of times I've ended up buying stuff from babe and then after a while I don't ever wear it and then I just end up selling it so this one right here is an all-over black tea I'm not sure the exact name on it I just really like how they did the front it kind of has that metallic feel to it blue white and like a brown and then on the back you got the metallic ape head on the back so a brand new babe tee i just liked it It wasn't too much going on and like i said i'm pretty picky but i did like this design and it did help that i see someone actually that was working there and walking around in it and this was the last size it was the last size they had i got them in a size xl and i think babe is definitely doing a little bit better with sizing but i would definitely rather have had a double x and babe just because i can shrink it for anyone that has never bought babe it usually does run a little bit small like this one i feel like it should be a little bit wider for an xl but I will go ahead and have to make it work. So all black, brand new babe tee, blam straight from the babe store. Nothing too crazy. Let's get to the next one. Up next is a jacket a lot of you guys have been asking me about and waiting on. And yes, they are finally done. And they will be available on sampleind.com on August 25th at 8 p.m. EST. I will leave a lookbook link down below. We're dropping this and some brand new tees. Now, this is the checker jacket or the sample motorsports jacket. Now, this is a sample. This isn't the finished version. The finished version is a little different, but this gives you a good idea. So across the back, you got sample motorsports, real big, all embroidered, blue, red, motorsports and yellow on the bottom. And there's a lot of small little details. So I'm gonna get a little bit up close and personal with y'all so y'all can actually see it. Above the left pocket, you got all gas, no brakes, and this is in a gradient embroidery. So you have blue, red, then yellow yellow on the bottom and then the main thing a lot of people notice is that they had these flames on the sleeve now like I said this is a sample so the actual release version is going to be a little bit different so on the release version this flame is going to be a lot bigger there is not going to be any red line down here it goes all the way down to the bottom you do have the zippers on the sleeves you got the ring zips right here as well as the ring zips on the front it's an all-over twill jacket so something similar to like a denim jacket just a little bit more lightweight but like I said these drop on Saturday August 25th some $12 essentials tees as well as dropping so blam motorsports checker jacket been getting a lot of questions about this one so yeah this is on the way releasing very soon also the finished version isn't this long I kind of made it a little bit shorter so if you're used to regular like denim jackets it's gonna fit more like that so blam sample industries August 25th if you're wondering now you know now this pickup right here is something a little bit different from my normal style but I knew going to NY and going to LA, if you try to get in a club, you try to get in a bar, it can be funny. And I needed a button down. So this one I just saw and I picked up. It is more on the expensive side. I think it's like 170, 175. But it's by a good brand and a brand's called Saturdays New York City. Now I actually was wearing this on IG and it's just a super cozy, super comfy, super wild looking button down. I actually was getting a lot of comments when I was wearing it. A lot of good comments, not bad comments, but a lot of good comments when I was wearing it. A lot of compliments when I was wearing it. And uh, yeah, man, it's just an all over crazy pattern. I think it's like inverted giraffe inverted leper it's, it just looks inverted colors to me it's just a really weird shirt and I fucked with it so I bought it I wore it and seemed like people were fucking with it too something a little different something a little out there but I just wanted to try something new so Saturday's New York City button down and I need to wash that too because that has been worn I missed up next I got a quick one from Stadium Goods just an all-over gray Stadium Goods hoodie shouts out to the homie Fresco 
for holding me down and shouts out to the homies that actually met fresco i got the video dog i seen all three of y'all shouts out to y'all and um yeah if i can i'll just throw the clip up right here what's up, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, i got your hat bro you've been watching the videos for that long you're the only reason why i'm fly you're your guy Facts. Facts. Yo, boy, you I just want to finesse game part of another game. You already know, man. Yo, boy, I just want to get. We ain't here. Yeah. We only frugal boys out here. So. <laughs> only frugal boys. Frugal boys. Just letting y'all know that. Yeah. All right, yo, boy, yeah. it's love out here for you, boy. New York City love. Facts. Facts. That's what's up. So yeah, salutes to y'all. I appreciate y'all. And next time in NY, hopefully I can have something where everybody can come and do like some type of meet and greet or something. So stadium goods, hoodie, all over gray, blue and black. Nice cozy gear, nice cozy wear. Let's get into the next one. So these next four pickups all came from Origins NYC as well as Retro Lab NYC both in the same store now this jacket I already kind of talked about just a little bit this is just the spring and summer nike and acg jacket this shit is fire i've talked about it enough already and just know yes i finally have it this is just man i, I just can't describe how fire this jacket is it's very technical it's very tech wary looking the grays the yellows and just to find it for a really really good price half off original retail brand new brand new so this pickup alone definitely was one of my highlights of my trip all gray with the acg on the back and trust me when it gets a little bit colder there will be a fit pick with this posted on the ig at bullet rc but y'all already knew that and then the next one right here i mean some of y'all will know everyone should know what this is right here an old pyrex t this right here is like a time capsule piece to me because i remember going into cream when they had pyrex and I never bought anything it's just i didn't have the means to really buy it i didn't want to get it and now that i have the means it's kind of like an era of where i was at a certain period of time so this has more sentimental value to me than anything but it's an all over black pyrex t man Man, it's crazy to think that some of y'all watching just had no idea, probably don't even know what Pyrex is, which is wild to me. But yeah, Pyrex T, ACG jacket, and then the next two are some vintage pickups that I got from Retro Lab. And this first one right here, just a vintage Florida Marlins T, all over black, Florida Marlins on the front, and just a really dope graphic, and I really like the colors. It is definitely cracked up, it definitely has that vintage feel to it of course but i just really like that realistic glove on the front just the graphic was dope nothing on the back so i picked this one up that was my first vintage tee pickup and yes i'm not a star trek fan but this t-shirt was hard and i really really like the colors star trek on the front you got that blue color you got the ship on the front and this one is actually from i think it's 1998 it's from the 90s i'm not sure but space the Final Frontier, and then the back, you got the back of the ship again, Star Trek, and I was looking for the year, because I could have sworn the year was on this, but I'm assuming somewhere in the 90s. I think it says right here, 1998, so a 20-year-old t-shirt, and this one, I don't actually think it has a year. Oh, yes, it does, 1998, so two 20-year-old vintage cheese, those are the other pickups. So here are two more very cozy pickups from Adidas. These are some other stuff that I got from Dix. Of course, the T-Row pant, we call them on this channel the Thought Pant. You already know what it is. And these are just the regular, degular T rows from Adidas, just in an all over green colorway. Also known once again, the Thought Pants. So I need some new Thought Pants. Got these in green. So yeah, just some cozy pickups. And I've been wanting one of these hoodies for a very, very, very long time. And I think it's called the Adidas Z and E hoodie. It's just so comfortable, so cozy, and just looks so dope. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these around, and I feel like it's definitely worth it if you want something that looks like this, something just nice that you can throw on that has a little bit more flash on it. Adidas on the sleeve, and the materials, once again, man, just immaculate. One of the best hoodies I own for sure. So Adidas, Z and E, I'm pretty sure, and then the Thought Pants. Blam, two more cozy pickups. We're almost at the end. We got the shoes and a couple more clothing pickups. This next tee right here is actually from the brand Silencio and this is the Silencio Show tee. On the front, what is called a high density print and it's kind of more like a 3D print on the front. You got the on air Silencio recording on the front. Then on the back is actually inspired from the Truman Show and it says good morning, oh and in case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening and good night on the back. 100% brushed ring spun cotton, so very cozy tees. So shouts out to homies at Silencio, got this t-shirt right here, blam, 
front and back. And like I said, man, everything will be linked down below if you want to peep it. Up next, we got two pickups from Kith. And I'm not going to lie to y'all, in between the cuts, I have been sitting here for 15 minutes trying to find the name of this shirt right here. So I'm going to toss these shorts down and let's get into this tee. You guys know usually when I do pickup videos, I try to like know the exact names of stuff so it's easier for y'all to find it. But I just could not find this t-shirt online. So you got Cav M Design on the front. It is a all over blue over dyed tee. And then on the back it does say data and documents right there. Now you guys know I have been a fan of Cav M for a while. I pick up stuff here and there that I really like. I usually miss the online drops because they're on Wednesdays at 8 and I always miss them. But regardless, Kith held me down. They had this t-shirt. Now this is over dyed. So with the washing process, it does seem like it's a little bit smaller than an XL. But it's all good i can make it work but yeah man i really cannot find where this t-shirt i can't find it anywhere online i can't find pictures i can't find images so if you can find this t-shirt online please let me know because i want to link it down below for anybody else that might like the tee. so yeah cab imp design all over blue data and documents and then the next pickup i got right here and i kind of went against my own rules you guys know usually not the biggest fan of a lot of thigh action but i saw these shorts and i really liked them only problem is they're size XL, but since Stone Island is like European sizes, they don't fit like an XL. They fit more like a 34 to 36. I don't know. Maybe in a little bit I'll be able to make these work, but for right now, they're going to stay in my drawer. But yeah, they're swim trunks. They're all over orange, and this is that nylon metal material, one of my favorite materials from Stone Island. As you can see, big Stone Island embroidered right there. And yeah, they're just all over orange swim trunks and swim trunks you don't have to wear just as swim trunks you can wear them as regular shorts as well so yeah these are really dope these will not be worn for a good little while and yeah when they are worn i'm going against my rules there will be a bit of thigh action i even went as far as to ask one of the girls that was working just for like a female perspective were these cool like does she feel like that's okay and she's like no that's cool it's regular it's not looking weird it's a good fit you got right there da, da, da. so yeah i got one more tea which is back here and you guys know I went to the Pleasures in Chinatown Market space on Rosewood, I think it is, right off of Fairfax. And I just got the Call My Loyalty in white. I really wanted the gray one, but they didn't have the gray one in my size. They only had size large, and I needed XL or maybe even medium in the gray one. But yeah, Chinatown Market, all over white, Call My Lawyer on the back. I just really like this gradient of colors. There's a lot you can do with this t-shirt right here. And then last up, I'm going to go through these three sneaker pickups very quickly because you have seen them before. And we can get out of here because I'm pretty sure it's been a very long video at this point. The first pickup, you guys have already seen these. But once again, the Travis Scott Air Force One Lowe's. In the sale colorway, I picked these up at Sneaky Tavern in New York. So yes, I got mine before release. I did pay over retail. And usually I can get lucky in my hometown, but I was only able to get a four and a half and a five, which I'm selling on Bulls Odega right now. So if you need those sizes, they're up there. But yeah, I got these before release, size 11 and a half, go a half size down on forces. Usually they do run a little bit big. So yeah, that was the first sneaker pickup. Next up, I actually got these while I was out in LA. Shouts out to the homie DP the kid once again. If you missed any of those LA or New York videos, go peep those again. They're fire, trust me. Bangers have been dropped, edited, crazy music, everything. But yes, Travis Scott, Air Jordan 4s for retail, homie hookup. I appreciate you, dog. So yes, that was in LA. One of these for a very long time. And last but definitely not least, another Y3 sneaker pickup. Got these while I was in NY, and this is the Y3 Kiowa. Definitely a very unique shoe. And of course, I had to get the craziest colorways. Luckily, the black ones are still on sale. And I'll probably get the black ones eventually. But yeah, if you like Y3s, the Y3 Kiowa, it's a very, very dope model. It's definitely different. They are expensive though. Y3, 400 off the hip, but they look really, really good on feet. So yeah, Y3 Kiowa, that's the last pickup. And that's it for this video, bro. I need to go ahead and get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. And that's a wrap, bro. Much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys can follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud snapchat the snapchat is bull.cb by the way here there buzzy by of course hold on let me get let me get these back one time bullet rc and i'm gonna see y'all on that next video what was your favorite pickup from the video let me know links will be down below slight bars i'm out of here i gotta go slight bars again peace <laughs> Bless you with this dope Step into my world where we get ghosts Cause in my mind we float Every time we step into one up They tweaking off the coke Fuck up my, my mind I'm burning bread so much Let's have a toast